Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm Mike Dady, Senior Application Engineer, and we're gonna take a look at how SOLIDWORKS Inspection can help you streamline your quality control processes. SOLIDWORKS Inspection is a tool that automates many of the manual processes inherent in the quality control workflow. And what it does is it takes information from our existing manufacturing documentation and populates the information that we need for downstream documentation. If we happen to be working with SOLIDWORKS, that's great because we can use existing SOLIDWORKS drawings and models to create our bill of characteristics for our quality documentation. Even if we're not working with SOLIDWORKS, we can easily use a variety of different 2D and 3D formats, including CATIA and CREO drawings, parts, and assemblies. Regardless of what format we're working in, SOLIDWORKS inspection will easily speed up our quality control processes. So let's take a look at how the software works inside of SOLIDWORKS. You can see we have a 2D drawing that has multiple different annotations on, the, on here, and I'm just going to go ahead and create an inspection project using the default settings and extraction criteria. And now what the software is doing is it's going through and interrogating the annotations and extracting the manufacturing information from those annotations. If we highlight a dimension, it highlights it in the characteristic tree. And the same is true if we highlight it in the characteristic tree in the graphics window. It shows all the nominal values, tolerances, and upper and lower limits. And we can even go in and set what method is used for measuring that particular characteristic. If we have an inspection dimension or something that is a key characteristic, we can easily classify that and change the balloon. We can also move the balloons around after we place them so that the documentation is clearly prep represented and we can see which, which balloon applies to which characteristic. If engineering is gonna be using the drawing, all the balloons are on a layer and we can easily blank and unblank that layer for display. Once we have everything complete, we can export to a variety of different documentation. And I'm just going to choose the Excel document and create our table of characteristics. Now you can use your custom templates that you already have for documentation if you have them, and we can use them to customize them for inspection. We can also take advantage of formatting in inside of Excel to show whether dimensions are good or bad based on their upper and lower limits. Once we're back inside of SOLIDWORKS, let's go ahead and take a look at a part model. And you can see this part model has 3D PMI and already has the bill of characteristics created for it. If we select a characteristic in the characteristic tree, it selects it and highlights it in the graphics window. And it also reorients it into the annotation view that's assigned to that DIM expert dimension. All right, so that's what the software looks like inside of SOLIDWORKS. Let's take a look at other methods than the standalone application and other file types. You can see here that I have an inspection project that I created from a DXF file. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start the extraction process by picking on the dimensions that we have in the DXF. As I choose them, you can see that the, the uh, characteristic properties are populated with the nominal plus minus upper and lower limits, and we have access to the inspection information as well. I'm just going to keep grabbing a few more characteristics here. It is fast to do them one at a time, but we can box select dimensions to really speed up the process. Once we're done gathering the characteristics, we can save the file. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new project. And we're going to use one of the 3D formats available to us by opening up a Creo file. Again, you can see that we're working with a full 3D model, and I'm going to pull up the 3D PMI as well, and you can see that the manufacturing information is contained within this model, and we can go ahead and extract it just like we did with the DXF file. Per usual, everything on the left-hand side is populated with the proper information from the dimensions and the 3D PMI. Now that I have all my characteristics, I can go ahead and I can grab 
output to Excel, 2D, or 3D PDF. So what did we learn about SOLIDWORKS inspection today? We can quickly gather the information we need for creating our quality documentation automatically and within like 30 seconds inside of SOLIDWORKS. And even with the standalone application, in a couple of minutes, I was able to fully document two different projects. Since it was a software pulling all the information out, Silly Mike can't put in the wrong information into a, an Excel spreadsheet or some other documentation and get it all screwed up. So we've taken the human element out of everything. We can use multiple formats inside of and outside of SOLIDWORKS. And all of our documentation can be customized using inspection information to automatically output information. Once again, I'm Mike Dady, Senior Application Engineer, and I hope you enjoyed our trip through SOLIDWORKS Inspection.